let's not mitigate or minimize what Gonzaga was this year. They were a historically good offensive team. Did they finish it? No, they didn't finish it. They lost a game to Baylor. Does that mean they're overrated? First of all, who rates them anyway? It's guys like you who rate them. You know what? To me, they are really, really yeah. a good basketball team that got beat by a better basketball team. Mm -hmm. Baylor, if they played ten times, I really think they'd win eight of the games. It's a bad matchup. That doesn't mean they were well, overrated. That just means that in that moment in time, they were beat by a better team. Well, Coach Seth Greenberg, let me say this to you, sir. I really, really don't appreciate you coming on this show on national television and forcing me to agree with Max Kellerman within the next oh, no, the first a. five minutes of the show. That's what you forced me to. Now, I will say <laughs> this. Uh, let me get specific here with you, Coach. When I say overrated, I don't mean I, I don't view it in the literal sense. I'm just saying Baylor should have been rated number one. God, don't put it on guys like myself and Max. You're the one that covers college basketball exceptionally well, I might add. One of the best analysts in the business. No, make, make no mistake about it. But listen, it was less than 48 hours ago that you were right in front of us talking about Gonzaga was going to win, and then obviously you had an epiphany and you saw something in Baylor. But it was that tough of a decision for you. And looking at them last night, I don't know why it was that damn tough for you. I know why it was tough <laughs> for me, because I only saw Baylor twice this year, to be quite honest with you, and I only saw Gonzaga twice as well. So that's why it was tough for me. You know these teams. And to look at Baylor, more athletic, bigger, stronger, faster, and they built like football players, like they trained with the football team or something. I mean, <laughs> listen, first things first, here's all you need to know. Baylor's first offensive sequence, they missed about three shots and had an offensive rebound each time, okay? You got Vital, who finished with 11 rebounds. Eight of them were offensive. He had eight offensive rebounds by himself. The entire team of Gonzaga had one. They got out-rebounded 34 to 17. Timmy, I mean, I, I, I watched this dude's moves in the post throughout the NCAA tournament, and I said to myself, this dude is special. Well, yeah, when he bigger, but when he went up against guys just as big, if not bigger than him, excuse me, them big boys for Baylor came out. They must have been watching first take because they came out and they said, who the hell do they think we are? Oh, we ain't having it. And and Timmy was, I mean, if you, I, I've never seen someone minimized overnight the way Drew Timmy was. I mean, he was minimized. I mean, he looked like, a, he just looked like a dude that was a small forward compared to those Goliaths, those mammoths of men in the post. So you look at it from that perspective. And then, of course, the guard play. I mean, Butler, Teague. Uh, I mean, the, 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 these brothers are just something. And Mitchell, of course, just special. And so I look at it from that perspective. I'm like, damn, faster, bigger, stronger, more athletic. And they had the dogs in them. They were like, yo, we ain't having it. All this noise, everybody been chirping about, about Gonzaga. We gonna put the world on notice. They ain't even on our level. Now, that's not about Max Kellerman. That's not Coach. about Stephen A. That's about the college basketball experts that had Gonzaga all day, including Dickie V. Let's not forget him. You guys <laughs> were talking about Gonzaga. So, Max is actually right. Not, not that Gonzaga Zaga is the joke. No, they should have been number two all year long instead so of number one right? playing in a Steve West a. Coast First Conference. First of all, I feel like That's Henry Kissinger are bringing you and Max together. Okay. I mean, that, this is a special no, moment. I, Early in the I'm morning at the saying. top of the show. All right, I feel like I brought two competitors together. Like, we've had a detente right That's here. Not Coach, really this is not easy for either one of us. Saying. It's not really competition. I really argue with you. Overrated. Saying. Here's Coach. the thing. Here's right. the one thing I'll say is, like, when we say overrated, like, so is number two overrated? I mean, they challenge themselves in their schedule. Baylor was better. There's no doubt about it. But, I mean, like, here's the deal. They had a magical season. They were 40 minutes away from a championship. I'm just saying they should Baylor have been number two, two instead games. of number no, one. No, they were a million miles away, Coach. They should have been number coach, two instead of number one. Coach, they were a million miles away saying. from a championship. They had, they had no shot to beat Baylor. And this is what I'm saying. First of all, when you said who overrates them, I'm not, this is not an indictment on Gonzaga. They're a really good team. As Stephen A. said, they should have been rated two. But when, you're supposed, but when you're supposed to be rated two and you're actually rated one, that is, as Stephen A. points out, that's the definition of overrated. We, I'll, I'm not just going to say you guys in the college basketball fraternity because we all picked Gonzaga. Stephen A. and I both picked Gonzaga. We yep. in the media over and fans 
overrated Gonzaga because they were really good, but the special team was Baylor. And one thing I take exception to is, well, it's a Styles matchup. But, you know, Gonzaga was worried. Baylor had a bad style. That's like saying, you know, the 95 Bulls had a bad, a tough style to beat. Or like Floyd Mayweather had a tough style to beat. Or the 98 Yankees had a tough, they're just the best. Like they got to the final four coach and beat the breaks off of Houston and, but and the Gonzaga. Thing. They got I, to look, the final four and no one competed with them. Look, I look, I agree with it. Look, as I when I changed my mind, here's what I said. I compared this real quickly. You know, we used to have those little uh, touch screens where you, you compare teams. Better backcourt Baylor. Better defense Baylor. Better rebounding Baylor. And the one matchup I thought and, and more experience. And you're right about Mark Vidal. I mean, he had eight, eight offensive rebounds. I mean, that first place sent a message. The only area I thought that maybe Gonzaga could win and could be a difference maker was Timmy. And Jonathan Chamo Chachua, I'll say for the last time this year, all right, his feet, his quickness, how active and how physical they were, ball pressure by his time, they pushed him out. I agree. If you just can compare one verse two, they were overrated, but I'm not going to take anything away from their magical season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.